The Mr. Men and Little Misses are sitting down to watch their favourite kind of television show. Game shows. Who doesn't love playing along at home, watching people compete in all kinds of games on TV? And like any game, there are winners and there are losers. But it's not just about who wins or loses. It's just about having fun. It's Guess What's in the Box with your hosts, Mr. Nosy and Mr. Small. Thank you and welcome to Guess What's in the Box. The rules are simple. We'll show you a box and you must guess what's inside. Answer correctly and you'll win whatever's in the box. Brilliantly said, Mr. Nosy. Let's play our game. Contestants, guess what's in the box. Mr. Rude, I'll start with you. It's a donkey. A donkey. That's what I said. All right, your guess is donkey. And you, Miss Chatterbox? Well, at first when I saw the box, I thought, my goodness, there's a fishbowl in there. But then I thought, why would they put a tiny fishbowl in such a huge box? That's why I think it's a giant jelly bean. I want to change my answer. I think it is a giant jelly bean too. Oh, sorry, Mr. Road, but you can't change your answer. You know what? I was going to say donkey, but then I didn't because Mr. Rude said it. So can we just swap our guesses? Oh, I'm afraid that's still against the rules. Then what if we just change places? Is there a rule against that? What do you say, Nose? Hmm, that seems fair. Very well, change away. Don't encourage these dodo birds. Just get on with the game. I couldn't have said it better myself. Mr. Grumpy, guess what's in the box? A big American refrigerator freezer, blue, with chrome trim. <gasps> oh, I had a blue refrigerator once. The strange thing is that anything I put inside turned blue, even the watermelon, which was really weird. Mr. Nosy, show us what's in the box. Oh, face it, it's a refrigerator. It's a donkey. You win, Miss Chatterbox. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I've always wanted a donkey. I don't want to switch places after all. I want the donkey. I'm sorry, Mr. Rude, but all answers are final. I'll give you final. <laughs> oh, Mr. Rude! Uh, get away from me, you mangy beast! <laughs> and that's our show. Join us next week for Guess What's in the Box! <laughs> To I dare you! I'm Miss Daredevil, and today two teams will battle it out for the championship! Over here is Team Green, Miss Scary, and Mr. Quiet. Mm -hmm. And over here is Team Orange, Miss Whoops, and Mr. Bump. Mm -hmm. For today's first round, I mm -hmm. dare you to be shot out of a cannon and into those nets. Mm -hmm. On your marks, get set. <laughs> Whoops! I'm sorry, Miss Whoops. Because you shot Mr. Bump in the wrong direction, I'll have to give the point to Team Green. <laughs> now for round two. We're 400 feet above the Dillydale River. High enough for you? <laughs> Let's see you bungee jump. I dare you! Go ahead, Mr. Quiet! Jump! Oh, 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 too high. 
What are you waiting for, Mr. Bem? Oh, you know, courage. Come on, teams! I dare you! Ooh. Ah. Whoops! I forgot to connect Mr. Bem's cord. Ah. Oh no! <laughs> Another point for Team Green! For this next dare, all you have to do is go into that cave full of bats and bring back the game piece like this one that's been hidden somewhere inside. The first one to return with the game piece wins! So, go on into that bat cave! I dare you! I can handle this one on my own! Ooh. You know, Miss Whoops, it would be better for me much better, actually, if you stayed out here. Okie dokie. <laughs> no! Nice bats! Nice bats! Ow! Oh, that's my neck! Works every time! <laughs> and Team Green is the winner! That's today's show. Tune in next week for another edition of I Dare You! Hello! I'm your host, Mr. Happy. And I'm Miss Sunshine. Welcome to the game show where we ask you... What do you know about music? Let's meet our contestants. Hello, Mr. Stubborn. Tell us a little something about yourself. No! Wonderful! <laughs> Welcome, Miss Giggles. <laughs> Tell us about yourself, won't you? <laughs> well, I'm a part-time firefighter. <laughs> Fantastic! Keep up the good work. Hello, Mr. Fussy. Tell us a little something about yourself. Hmm? Well, I'm an avid painter and chef and have recently been named Quilter of the Year. You make quilts! In my spare time. In fact, I've made one for you. He is trying to cheat. I most certainly am not. This is just a token of my appreciation. That's right. No cheating here. In fact, what do you say we play the game? Hmm? Ready, contestants? Here's our first question. Which of these three things is not a musical instrument? Miss Giggles! It's the... It's the... It's the, it's the, it's the <laughs> Mr. Stubborn! The tuba! The question is, which one of these is not a musical instrument? I heard you the first time. I say tuba. Mr. Fuzzy, I'm most certain that the banana is not a musical instrument. That is correct. Ha ha ha. Another question with a little help from Miss Sunshine. What instrument is Miss Sunshine playing? She is playing a glockenspiel. No, I'm sorry. That is not a glockenspiel. Yes, it is. No, Mr. Stubborn. This is a glockenspiel. That is a different instrument altogether. It's quite obvious that Miss Sunshine is playing a... Glockenspiel! Oh, that will cost you a point, Mr. Fussy. But that wasn't my answer. It was Mr. Stubborn's. That bell means it's time for our final question. And with the score tied at zero, we'll spin the wheel to see who gets to answer. Give it a whirl, Miss Sunshine. And it looks like... <laughs> Mr. Stubborn! Yes, this is an outrage. Do you know how much work I put into that quilt? <laughs> OK, Mr. Stubborn, Miss Sunshine is going to play a song for us today. So to win, just name that song. Do, do let me answer this one. I'm sorry, Mr. Fuzzy. Mr. Stubborn is the only one allowed to play right now. Fine, but I'm taking back my quilt. 
I need an answer, Mr. Stubborn. Name that song. That is Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. I'm afraid you're wrong. No, you are wrong. Wonderful. <laughs> That's all the time we have for today. Join us next week when we ask, what do you know about music? This game show is cheap. These lights are cheap. The host is cheap. Your smile is cheap. The questions are cheap. And so, you see, there's a good deal of fun to be had with game shows, whether you're there, giving it your all, or watching at home, which, admittedly, takes much less effort.